Hey friends, it's Lisa here from Arcane and Stellar with a pick a card reading on what you'll be thankful for next. So what's coming into your life? What kind of blessing is coming in? I thought this would be a fun reading for Thanksgiving. Here in the US, we're having Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna be posting this on Thanksgiving. And I really want to take a chance to say thank you to all of you for your support, your love, your comments, and all, like, just I'm amazed and thankful for my channel, for all of your, you know, your positive feedback and your support, especially like those of you that really do take the time to comment every time. There are some of you that have been with me for a long time, like Diana <laughs> or John. Uh, there's just too many of you. Megan, Tay, <laughs> and speaking of Tay, Tay got this beautiful deck off my wish list. Messages from your animal spirit guides, which we're using in this reading. I'm thankful. It was beautiful because today I wasn't feeling that great. We got exposed to COVID. My um, mom's husband, he was working the COVID unit. He's a nurse. So we've all been exposed. And I'm going to, that's why I wanted to jump and film on, film this quickly because I don't, I don't know how I'm going to be feeling soon, if it's going to kick in or not for me. Um, we do stay in the same household, so it's it's likely. I guess that'll catch it. I've been trying to take precautions, but who knows. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get on this reading, and I want to offer you guys a giveaway. So by leaving a comment down below in the description box, you'll be entered into a giveaway with a reading with me, okay? I'd like to do something nice for people as a way to say thank you, um, especially since we're having, you know, Thanksgiving and stuff. So that's partially also the reason why I want to post this today, um, or for Thanksgiving anyways. I'm not filming it on Thanksgiving, but <laughs> I also want to say a huge thank you to Steven. Steven got me these beautiful uh, gemstone hearts, the True Heart Intuitive Tarot, which I'm using in this reading, and this beautiful heart as well, this palm stone heart, which, you know, it's, it's so funny because I was like manifesting gemstone hearts and I was like man you were on point <laughs> with what I wanted because Steve often will send me things that I'm not even expecting but yeah beautiful there are tons of them in this little thing and I just oh I'm excited thank you Steven and thank you Tay you guys are amazing and I do like I said Eric I have like 5,000 names I could mention to be honest and if I don't mention yours well, geez Louise, <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> There's just so many of you that I do notice you comment. I do, you know, notice, uh, I, I notice you all. And even if I don't always comment and stuff like that, it really means a lot to me that you guys, you know, take the time to watch me and are so supportive and stuff. And I hope that I can give you guys all the healing messages that will help you in life and, you know, bring optimism, but reality too. <laughs> I know sometimes my readings can be a little bit harsh, uh, but I do, I do it out of love, <laughs> you know, to be realistic. But, uh, yeah, I wish you all the very, very best. Thank you for being here. We have four piles today, so one, two, three, and four. On pile one, it's clear quartz. Pile two, adventuring. Pile three, I think, is carnelian. And pile four is amethyst. Um, I'm pretty sure this is amethyst. The box doesn't say amethyst, but, like, there's no way that's not amethyst, right? That's totally amethyst. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, go ahead and choose a pile. The timestamps will be down below. Wishing you a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. And, again, I'm very thankful for you. Thank you. And, of course, if you guys want to share down in the comments one thing you're grateful for or thankful for, I'd love to hear it. I'm all about gratitude lists, and I have my own, like, little journal. I write all the things I'm grateful for, so... <clears throat> I'd love to hear something you're grateful for in the comments as well, if you want. <laughs> if you want. Okay, so take care and I'll see you in your reading. Hello friends, if you chose pile number one here with this clear quartz heart, this is the reading for you. So let us get started and see what will you be thankful for soon. So what's coming into your life to be thankful for. So we have the ten of wands as well as the three of wands. Well, the wands represent action, initiation, uh, travel perhaps. For some of you, this might actually be in the form of traveling forward in general. This might be releasing some personal burdens as well. If you've been feeling a little bit tired, that could definitely be an indicator that things will start to seem a little bit happier. If it's been hard for you to see potential in the future, or you felt as if you know, life has been just too much of a struggle or a burden. And I know this year has been very burdensome for a lot of people. It's been a difficult year, to be honest. I do see m movement forward, hope, and optimism. Particularly with the Three of Wands, I do see a lot of optimism in that card. 
and as well I see action and initiative. So again, it might be that you're initiating something that you once thought was very hard. Um, again, it could also just be like a very optimistic attitude. We have Blue Heron, which says, make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. So with this card, I definitely sense that a lot of you will be kind of letting go also of the burden of other people. Um, that's something to be thankful for, for. It's not always easy to do that, you know. And it's funny because we do have Trillium here with the Fairy, um, the fairy Wisdom Oracle. And uh, this particular card talks about self-love. So this is about valuing, your, val valuing yourself above others' opinions. If you have been the type that has often had a hard time, and it's hard to disassociate sometimes with other people's opinions or their what they say or you know what I mean it can weigh on you in some way so for some of you it's like you're kind of throwing that to the side you're kind of doing what you really want to do regardless of what other people think I think a lot of you are going to be finding more of your individuality in the future as well and it's also I see for some of you too I think this is supposed to be a cicada and cicadas actually can live underground for quite some time before they emerge um and it almost makes you feel like some of you are emerging and ready to kind of go after something is what I'm kind of picking up intuitively here. Interesting, too, is we also have a man and a letter. So now with this being a general reading, it's really hard to say what this might. OK, it's obviously you will receive uh, some sort of uh, communication from a masculine. Now, whether that is going to be like a love interest or a family member or a friend, that's hard to say. But I do feel like some of you. Well, not some of you. I think all of you, pretty much, that are getting this pile, just because this is such a clear message, I think, you will be receiving some sort of communication from a masculine. And I would say that this might also, in some way, this might relieve a burden that you've been having. Maybe this is going to open up new pathways for you. So if you've been carrying, if a, what was that? <laughs> if a certain relationship has been really weighing on your shoulders, my son's making some weird noise. Um, if some certain situation or like a relationship has been weighing on you heavily, I see like the end of the rainbow and say, I see improvements, movement. Again, if you guys have a distant, distant relationship, as an example, it might be that you start to see travel opportunities open up, ways to see each other, ways to interact. Uh, I don't feel comfortable saying that for everybody, but I think for a good portion of you, that could be po possible, especially if the situation fits. Some of you also might be in communication with somebody uh, in general, like maybe a new friend's coming into your life or a new correspondence, you know, somebody that you'll correspond with and get to know. Um, we also have the living room. Now, to me, the living room is a place, what's well, inside of our home. <laughs> so it, to me, it represents the idea of our inner selves, our private world as well. Perhaps for some of you, it's like you're getting more comfortable in yourself in general. And just, again, it might be, you know what's interesting? I see a lot of deep work too because of that cicada energy as well. It's kind of like an emergence. Maybe you're emerging out. For some of you, what you're going to be thankful for is that COVID's over, <laughs> that you can start to go out again, <laughs> to be honest. Um, this is timeless, of course, so I mean, maybe it'll be for something else, but uh, I, I can I can imagine that for many of you, this might be where, where it surrounds you, <laughs> you know, with the COVID situation and, and feeling maybe trapped in. Spirit guides and angels, those that chose pile number one, what will they be thankful for soon? A prosperous business with riches and success. That's interesting too because the Ten of Wands, if you've been really working your butt off on something, you might start to see the results of this, okay? So if you've been creating a business or you know, kind of uh, taking a lawn on at work, you might actually start to see the results um, from this. Like as in you get like a raise or a bonus or you start to see finances increase or something like that. Oops, darn it. <laughs> we also have perseverance and motivation to keep going despite the odd. Odds? The odd. <laughs> despite the odd. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, <clears throat> well, I definitely can see that perseverance is definitely something to be thankful for because that's what gets us going through the, the hardest times is when we just keep persevering, we just keep going. And uh, I think that you guys will start to see the end of the, the light at the end of the tunnel for those of you where you've really been trying to pursue something in particular. 
We also have water. It says work with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. Of course, it could be, you know, maybe some of you need to include more water into your life, <laughs> drinking it, swimming in it, you know, whatever. Uh, again, too, maybe for those of you, if, if COVID's been an issue and you haven't been able to go swimming as an example, I actually had to stop going swimming because, you know, of, of COVID. Uh, in particular, it's been harder for me to go to the gym and stuff like that and go swimming. So for some of you, that could be something to be thankful thankful of. Again, some of you might be traveling overseas um, near the water in the future. So that's something that could be coming into your life as well. Let me see. Anything else that I'm getting? Now, Trillium, this particular card talks about self-love. It says, learn to appreciate everything delicate and gentle in your nature. Delve into the tender part of yourself that holds the cosmic parent and child. Go within and find the small child inside who asks for shelter from life's storms. Wrap your wings around that small one, giving love and comfort. See that child blossom within the unconditional love of the universe into a gentle being of light. Here lies the potential for all things wondrous. Allow yourself the nurturing that will help you bloom into the most that you can become. Too often in life, we all see things that we do not like about ourselves instead of seeing how truly wonderful we are. What a pity. How much further do you think you could go if you were showered with only praise, positive guidance, and support? There is a constant pouring out of these blessings upon you by the Creator. It's your job to accept it into your life and your heart. Love yourself. Do not forget your divine birth into this universe. You are a divine spark of that God force, and nothing can take that away from you. It is through you that God chooses to express love on this earth plane. You are an expression and part of God. The fairies recognize this in you. They are often perplexed that we as humans so often do not perceive our own divinity, something that comes so naturally to the elemental kingdom. They do wish to help, however, so follow their lead. Feel the natural grace that spirit has put upon this planet. Attune to it. Through nature, we connect to spirit. Feel the love, the peace, and the comfort of the divine spirit in all areas of your life. You're never alone. The cosmic parent is always with you. So that's a very beautiful message there because it's, it is about self-love. And I know that we often talk about self-love. I feel like a lot of readers often talk about this and it can feel repetitive and kind of like, maybe it's boring or something you're like oh, I've heard this before but again I feel like one of the things to be first of all being thankful for the things that are great about you we all have things that of course we want to change but there's also things that make us unique and that we should appreciate more you know what I'm saying I remember growing up I hated having brown eyes I always wanted to have blue eyes <laughs> <laughs> but you know and as I got older it was something I grew into love and I would never trade my brown eyes for anything I think brown eyes are very beautiful and you know what I mean so in any way every you know it's just like kind of I feel like some of you might find you appreciate something more about yourself and that could be physically it could be internally you know spiritually um, accepting gifts and as well there's a message here to be reminded that you have a lot of um, spiritual guidance around you that really you know thinks you're the bees knees <laughs> you know what I'm saying uh, that thinks you're great and is very supportive of your journey and that's what self-love too it reminds me of this blue heron going back to this it's like make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others at the end of the day you're living your life you're not living anybody else's so it is maybe a good idea for some of you especially those of you that are struggling um, maybe it will be heartening to hear that you're gonna release that burden of other people that you're not gonna let what they say weigh so heavy on you but that that's what you know can really bring success a lot of people don't do things out of fear and a lot of times the fear is fueled by other people um the things that we hear them say even if it's not directly to us but we hear you know people making comments about other people or other situations and then we you know silently take this in and we're like well dang you know <laughs> have you ever had that where somebody was talking bad about somebody else but it was actually like offensive to you you know what I mean like like have you ever had that happen like where they're like hey yeah it's like I've had that happen quite a few times where people didn't know they're kind of like talking about like I had such a situation and they're talking about somebody else and then you're like oh that stings you know <laughs> but uh, I do see like perhaps especially for those that situation in particular it came to my mind for a reason uh, some of you might have experienced that and I think that you'll find that these things won't weigh you down as much or again there might be more movement forward I do see business ventures picking up like I said as well and for some of you that have been wanting to start something but you've lacked the courage or you haven't had the extra time or you know for numerous reasons I see it starting it I see it picking up or starting for some of you like it depends on where you're at in it 
but I see endeavors like some of you might be sending out a manuscript some of you might even receive there's something for a lot of you that you've been really kind of either working hard on or again maybe there's just some kind of like heaviness that's going to be lifted but I, I see results coming for you and again light at the end of the tunnel <clears throat> but yeah that is what I've got for you guys that chose pile number one I hope that it gives you some something to look forward to thank you like I said for being such a strong supporter of the channel I appreciate each and every one of you as I mentioned in the intro and of course don't forget if, if you leave a comment you get to be entered into the giveaway <laughs> so I'll have a giveaway for Thanksgiving as a you know a thank you to everybody who subscribes and uh, you know has been so supportive as I said but if you want a personal reading with me uh, despite, you know, of course, enter in the giveaway, but uh, if you want a personal reading, you can do that through my Etsy, Etsy store where you can purchase readings. The link is in my description box, as well as link to my Amazon wish list. And I always do a reading as a thank you for anyone who gets something off my Amazon wish list. So there we go. <laughs> I will see you all in the next reading. Take care, guys. Hello, my friends. If you chose pile number two here with this adventuring, this is the reading for you. So let us get started and see what kind of things you'll be thankful for in the near future. Ooh, okay, let's see. We have the moon and the child. Something lighthearted. Interesting, we have also grief and adversity as well. So I do feel like for a lot of you, I want to tell you you have like a guardian angel or spirit guide around you that kind of keeps an eye on you. If you've been feeling sad, they're there in that moment. For some, that could be a child or a younger person, but not all of you. I do feel like it also could be that you're considered to be the child, no matter how old you are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like grandmothers can always think of us as children, even if we're like 35. <laughs> Um, <laughs> my mom, <laughs> like 35, and she's like, don't stay out late. And I'm like, what the heck? I'm like 35, excuse me. <laughs> okay, we have the Princess of Swords, the Cardinal, the Dormouse, and the Six of Cups. Ooh, some of you are going to have a reunion with somebody. Now, the Six of Cups can talk about nostalgia, right? Reunions, someone coming back into your life. Some of you might have a childhood friend return into your life in particular, okay? Um, I'm feeling... Nah, I don't really feel a specific gender, no. Uh, there also could be the return of an interest as well. Something maybe you studied before kind of coming back around as well. Of course, I could be thankful because it might be actually something that could um, have potential for something great, right? Or, or it might be like that you kind of get your groove back after, you know, you kind of let something slide. Like, I see an occupied mind, which is nice, and a, and a desire to, like, learn for sure. So, again, some of you might actually uh, be receiving a good grade um, on something. So, if you guys are in school or something, I would definitely say good grades coming your way. <coughs> There also might be, as well, a pat on the back on something you've been learning. Maybe there's a compliment that's going to make you really smile. The Cardinal says, The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance, so do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. Hmm. That's interesting. So spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures being out of balance. So maybe for some of you, there's going to become more of a balance. Maybe you're going to get back to the basics or in some way sort of get back into equi equilibrium within yourself soon. Let's see. I want to look at the Dormouse in this particular deck. The Fairy Wisdom. This is from the Fairy Wisdom Oracle. It says home. The Dormouse card can represent your home or a place where you feel the happiest or safest. The physical body is also the home for your soul and at times can be reflected in this card. It can also be about family, close relationships, and childhood memories. <gasps> oh my god, no way. Okay. <laughs> it speaks of goals you may have for your home, moving, renovating, or redecorating. It also encompasses the yard and gardens. In order to determine what it is that you are being asked to focus on, relax for a moment and sense what comes to mind. So yeah, take a moment here. You can even pause and think, 
what do what do I need to know? What's improving? And see what your gut just goes to right away. What comes to mind, you know? What emotion does this card bring it up? Go with the feeling and ask, what is this about? What do I need to look at again and why? Perhaps you need to clear a childhood trauma from your aura. It might be that you need to revisit the pleasant, carefree memories of your youth. If you're unhappy with your surroundings, it might be that it's time to change residence. Sometimes the energy of a home does not support your comfort and well-being. Sometimes a home just needs to be cleansed. It needs to be in order and clean, but also smudged or cleansed on a spiritual level. Light a smudge stick, say a prayer, and sprinkle salt or water and walk slowly through the rooms. Ring chimes or bells. Yeah, I always keep bells around my house and wind chimes are very good because it keeps away spirits um bad spirits okay if you choose just visualize doing all these things you can also ask that you're helping friends from the other realms cleanse the house and property for you yeah there's also like house elves and such like domovoy in russian um but i there's also i think brownies right that's another kind you can always work with us uh, house elves okay <clears throat> your physical body, the home of your soul, needs to also be cut clean and in good running order. Do the things that are good for your well-being on all levels. Home is where the heart is. So this is very interesting because we have some improvement in the home life, okay? So for some of you, of course, this could be, you know, like... Uh, you know what, intuitively, when I, I was I was doing this reading, I mean, pulling the cards, you know, and shuffling and stuff like that, I did get the message for some of you. First of all, I got the message for the good grades, okay? That was one thing, that you guys will receive a good grade um, or a good mark on an exam or something like that or on, on some kind of homework. For others of you, though, I do feel like some of you will be handed an heirloom, okay? Um That's specific, and it may not resonate with everyone, but or you're going to get some sort of antique, I, I feel like for most of you, it would be through a relative or a friend or something like that. But there's, or you're going to find something. And again, it might be something from childhood or something that was kind of sentimental to you in childhood. Mm. So some of you, like I said, it could be like an inheritance or not like, an, not inheritance, like, but like something that is kind of given to you. And it might be in your family for some of you, but for others of you, it might just be somebody gets you something. Like as an example, like just a random example, like my mom recently received a stuffed animal from her cousin. And it was a rep, it's the same stuffed animal she had in the 70s or 60s when she was a kid. And it was actually a carnival toy. And she found the exact same one on Etsy. It's kind of like, I always try to like find childhood memories, you know, like myself even. Um... So some of you might want to to go back to something in childhood as well. Like I know there are certain things that are very sentimental to me, as in like my grandparents had these old Raggedy Ann and Andy puzzles my gran at their house. And my grandparents were very like, <laughs> they were very old and cute. But uh, I always wanted to get those again, you know what I mean, for myself and have a copy for myself because I don't have them but, uh, anymore. But... Uh, you know what I mean? Like, there's sometimes there's sentimental. There might be something sentimental given to you. Like, you know, like that type of thing. Um, as an example, for some of you. I know I'm kind of focusing on this a lot, but I do feel... I also see, perhaps, yeah, like a reunion. Again, some of you might be able to go see some family member or friend that you're kind of just very thankful to be around. There could be just sweet, innocent memories. And with grief and adversity, it just might be that you've been kind of frustrated. And maybe that's going to... I feel like that's definitely going away. The emotions will be fresh. They're going to be new like a child. They're going to be innocent. They're going to be free. That kind of thing. So I do see that improving. For some of you... Again, too, with the cardinal, when it talks about your spiritual pursuits and your physical pleasures being out of balance, some of you might be really just, like, organizing everything in your house. It is so true that our physical environment really impacts our emotions, especially for certain people, certain personalities. I know for me, when I'm in a chaotic environment, my insides feel chaotic. And it's not um, really something that's... OCD. That's for anybody. When you're going to be in chaos, it's going to feel like chaos. Um, it's not something that's like a, a, you know, some disorder or something. There's nothing wrong with that feeling per se. I mean, unless it's like controlling your life, of course, completely, but uh, maybe then it's a, it can become an issue or something. But it's nice for us to have things in their place or to have an expectation. We feel safe with that. And so some of you might be you know, creating the space that you want to live in um, that matches your spiritual self. So some of you might be setting up an altar and you're going to be thankful like that you get the stuff for that. You know what I mean? 
some of you too might have a, a particular connection to like a, a god or goddess and maybe some of you will be setting up an altar for that um, particular and sort of coming under their tutelage in a way as well that's very specific so <laughs> um, not for everyone but yeah I see learning new things as well some of you might be some of you might actually even cook a big meal for everyone and you're pretty proud of yourself <laughs> And that's something to think, be thankful about. Some of you guys might be learning something, like a recipe or something, and you do great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I see generally good stuff. Lots of stuff for surrounding the home. So again, some of you might be returning to a home, you know, a childhood home. Or again, maybe you guys are kind of moving to a new place. But it might be like a soul place. We do have soul places, guys. When you look at uh, astrophotography, you can really see. It's on astro.com. There's a way to look at it if you want. Uh, you can always DM me on Instagram. I'll teach you how to do it. But uh, it's pretty easy. It's just, I think it's astro travel on there. And once you type in your chart and stuff, you can see. And I've found, I've lived a lot of different places around the world. And I have found that my astro photography tends to speak about what I experience in a place. And, of course, aspects matter. Um, you know what I mean? If you have a really negative, like a lot of negative sun placements, then a sunlight might not be the most comfortable, <laughs> um, right? But generally, I've noticed that I've been drawn to a lot of node places, like north node places. And actually, the previous place I lived before this, Moscow, Russia, I have a, nord a node line. <laughs> and I, you know, it's like it was like a soul place. It was a destined place for me to live. And I still, it helped me to really get better at developing relationships with people and opening up more so and it was a dc line so it's my no dc like descendant line which is more about my relationship with other people but yeah so again maybe some of you are kind of being drawn to a place like that but uh yeah so even if you don't know it like on a conscious level right some of you may not even realize that on a conscious level so that is what I've got for you guys. Those are the kind of things that you can be thankful for coming up. Like I said, reunions, childhood memories. Some of you are going to be receiving a gift of some sort or an heirloom or something that has meaning and per something very sentimental. <clears throat> some of you are going to be like cleaning home, cleansing home, moving home. There's a lot of stuff around home. I said, like I said, it's going to be, a, these are general readings. So I'm trying to mention the different things I kind of get and not all of them will hit with you and some of them will hit with other people but I try to include everybody I can possibly can you know I possibly can in these readings that's my intention you know um, and sometimes you'll find specific messages that aren't for you and that's okay <laughs> you know there might be another one for you but I do want to say yeah definitely you guys have like a guardian angel around you or like a guide of some kind that's really keeps an eye out for you so, with that being said, guys, I want to wish you a beautiful, wonderful day or night wherever you are. Thank you so much for your support. As I said, don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is just leave a comment. Make sure you keep up with my community tab, though, to see when I announce winners because I can't message you guys directly. Uh, so keep that in mind. But uh, I am sending you guys so much love. Have a wonderful day. If you want a personal reading with me, that information is down below in the description box. There's a link to my Etsy store where you can purchase readings as well as links to my Amazon wish list. I always do a reading as a thank you for that. So anybody who gets something off my Amazon wish list always gets a reading. So thank you. Take care and I'll see you on the next reading. Bye-bye. Hey guys, if you chose pile number three here with this carnelian heart, this is a reading for you. So let us see what you'll be thankful about next. So what kind of blessing is coming your way? <clears throat> Let's see. We have the Eight of Wands along with the Hierophant. Discovery. Rich Good Gentleman. Fox and Coffin. And Humpback Whale. I feel like a lot of you actually will be traveling um, for a good portion of you, especially if you've been having to kind of like feeling stuck with COVID as an example and being under quarantine. I think that one of the 
things that you're going to be thankful about soon is like the lifting of travel restrictions in particular. Um, so some of you may find that, you know, current energy, of course, this is timeless. So of course, you know, apply it as, as, uh, so for some of you, it may just simply be travel, to be honest. Some of you might actually see some sort of visas or documentation kind of moving forward as well. Um, that's a possibility too. But I see essentially the fox in the coffin. That can be about coming out of hiding or it could be about uh, hmm, the end of hiding or being up kind of uh, tucked away. Like I said, that for a lot of you, this is probably going to be COVID kind of being lifted. Uh, and you can see the tin cans kind of coming up <laughs> here in this in this card. So it's almost like you're you're coming out <laughs> of the out of hiding. Um, but uh, this can also be like the end of difficult times, putting something to rest uh, as well as it can be doing something that's in your own best interest for sure. We also have rich, good gentlemen. So there's some kind of experience some of you are going to have with a uh, rich, good gentleman <laughs> in particular. Like I said, the Eight of Wands can talk about communication coming in, um, documentation. Maybe some of you are going to receive like a letter um, that really, like maybe from government or something like, as I said, for some of you. For the Fairy Oracle card, we have Discovery, which says potential. This is a time to open your eyes and examine what is really in your world. Is it of your liking? Is your view of reality encompassing all that it can? It's time to open up to your unlimited potential. Delve into life and discover all that there is there for your asking. <clears throat> Step out of your comfort zone and try something new. Again, there might be something that you actually have the courage to try. With the hair and the eight of wands, maybe you guys are going to try something you've never done before. You're going to take a, like a leap out of the comfort zone. What is it that you've always wanted to do but you've put on the back burner? It's time to do it. Get involved with others. Join a group or a club. Take a class in something that sparks your interest. Expand upon your life experience in ways that promote your well-being. Be open to new ideas and new ways of seeing things. Listen to others' views with an open mind. There is a lot you can add to your life by being open and accepting of change. Life is always evolving and constantly offering up opportunity for growth. Go with it and grow and learn as much as possible. So again, there's this, uh, some of you might actually be like traveling to study. Some of you might have the opportunity to study with somebody you've been wanting to study with, like take a class or a course, and you're going to be quite thankful for the information that's provided. It might give you structure for some of you. So I see for some of you getting accepted abroad as, as an example, like maybe studying abroad. Um, I see, like I said, documentation going better. Visas, travel restrictions perhaps coming um coming out you know away like kind of falling away and you guys having the opportunity to go somewhere to expand on ideas <clears throat> let's see we also have the hump back sorry my throat <laughs> i've been having the <clears throat> thing with the i don't know i hope it's not covid <laughs> we'll see uh, but humpback whale it says music is essential to your healing and well-being whether singing playing an instrument or listening so very well some of you might receive messages through music some of you, I do want to urge you maybe, if it, you don't find it creepy, I don't. I love whales. Whales, besides otters, I love otters. I love whales. I love to listen to whale sounds. I think whales sound beautiful. I don't think they sound creepy. <laughs> some people do. But if you do find that you like like whales, maybe like some of you could lay down and just close your eyes and listen with some headphones like to whale sounds or whale meditation and see what kind of images come to your mind or what kind of ideas come into your mind. This could, again, maybe be a way for you to connect and as well, pay attention to the music that you're listening to as well. Some of you might also, you know, humpback whales, whales in particular, like send messages to each other. And I wonder if some of you might be receiving intuitive hints via music from somebody on your mind. Like you guys get your song, the same song stuck in each other's head or there's some sort of message there for some of you. If you find that you're waking up with a certain song in your head or you keep getting a similar song stuck in your head, look at the meaning of that song. For others of you, you might actually be studying music or singing or something like that. Someone might also send you a song that kind of makes you cheesed out. <laughs> like maybe, you know, like kind of like a... Like this song reminds me of you or something like that. And you might be like, oh, you know. Uh, 
Let's see. And for some of you, that could be the rich, good gentleman. <laughs> to me, rich doesn't always mean... I'm going to actually clarify that. I want to... Sorry, my chair. I'm using a like a rolling computer chair. It's kind of loud. I want to see what's up with the rich, good gentleman. I'm going to... Spirit guides and angels. The rich, good gentleman. What does this mean for pile number three? Okay, some of you might be traveling to a rich, good gentleman. Okay? We yeah, literally... Some of you might be moving on as well from that energy as well. Mm -hmm. For some of you, it's traveling to this person when you felt like you couldn't. So some of you might have like a long distance relationship and you haven't been able to like pursue somebody in particular because of COVID as an example. And you'll be able to kind of do this. But for others of you where it's like you can't let go of somebody... I see you coming to a clear mindset, a clear frame of mind, and sort of as well perhaps breaking out of certain chains, okay? And again, maybe manifesting somebody better into your life as well. Yep, okay, so that's where I'm getting that. Now, do you remember these are general readings? I try to, you know, make sure that everybody's going to get a message. So that's why sometimes there are multiple messages. It's up to you to kind of make sure that you're picking the right pile, um, you know, with your intuition and, you know, whether, you know, some of these messages may be for you and sometimes they may not be for you for sure. Um, okay, so anything, I feel like I want to ask something else. Let me, I'm going to take, I'm going to take one of these for you. Sorry, this stupid chair <laughs> makes noise. Angels, those are just pile number three. What will they be thankful about soon? What good thing is coming towards them that they could be thankful about? Ooh, we got one. We have hex, banishment. This says, someone is not who you think they are. Your energy is being drained by another's negative behavior. Beware of jealousy. Choose friends wisely. Look deeper into an offer or situation. Something is too good to be true. Time to walk away. This is the message for those of you that where this is something, there might be someone that you guys are involved with. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I dropped these cards, but I think we need one now to be honest, <laughs> because these uh, fell over by accident. So I think that was a message for us to use one. I feel like some of you are, yeah, banishing somebody from, from your life. There might be, for some of you, and please don't take this and do, don't be fearful. You'll already know this message if it's yours. So please don't try to apply this or make it fit on somebody where it doesn't fit. But for some of you watching, you need to hear that this person that maybe presented themselves as a great person, they acted really nice, um, and then they maybe turned out to be kind of toxic or difficult or, you know, not in some way open with you. They're going to be leaving your life, okay? And, and and that doesn't have to be, like, necessarily masculine only or a love interest. It can be in any way you're getting rid of those people. That's funny because of the fox in the coffin. That could be putting to rest uh, people that are sneaky, Foxes can be on the bad part, you know, on the bad side or, well, you know, it may, uh, it could be like cunning, somebody who's kind of out to get you or kind of sneaking around, okay? And we have confidence and enlightenment. I'm going to get one more. I feel like we need to get one more. <clears throat> and communication. So look at this. Confidence says, confidence is having the belief in yourself to keep you going and the self-assurance to get you there. So I see in confidence improving. But also enlightenment. It says enlightenment will unearth your higher consciousness. Some of you are going to be having insights about a certain situation in particular. Um, and again, sometimes that kind of hurts. But it does open you up for growth and, you know, like that energy of, of knowing when to bury something, you know, and just say, okay, bye, <laughs> you know, RIP. <laughs> um, there we go. But we have communication. It says the sharing of insight and ideas are embodied through the art of communication. I do see a lot of you having some great communication in particular. That's uplifting too, right? It's informative. It's uplifting. I see, again, for some of you, if this is like friendship, you've been having not great friendships. I see, you know, people coming into your life that can feed your mind in, in higher spiritual ways too, by the way not lower vibration or, uh, and I don't mean to sound snotty when I say lower vibration. I usually don't use that word very often because I feel like it's kind of a, a term that 
isn't, I don't know, it's not my favorite term, to be honest. I don't judge people that say it. It's just not something I really relate to for people. But it's like you're engaging with people that, you know, bring fruitfulness to your mind. They bring, you know, abundance. They bring good ideas, good thoughts, good words, positive things, rather than, you know, negative things. So I, I see that, again, for some of you, you are banishing somebody from your life, though. Um, and that's actually going to be something to be thankful. And maybe they'll banish themselves. <laughs> that's even better, right? Because <laughs> then they do the work for you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I'll take a few more. I'm just going to take a few Making Magic cards for you guys. So, pile number three. What good things are coming their way? What can they be thankful for soon? Oops. I'm just dropping cards today, aren't I? What would they be thankful for? There we go. Well, we have the festival creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event. So good parties, a good event. And then we have abracadabra with wings, fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. So again, ooh, you know what? Um, I always keep this symbol in my purse. My mother-in-law taught me this, actually. She, she would print them out for me. And I carry one in my purse. <laughs> she told me to do that. But uh, some of you might want to write that down. The abracadabra triangle thing. And you can keep it in your purse. Uh, but yeah, it looks like some good fortune coming to you. Lucky chances. You know, take lucky chances too. You know, anytime you can kind of... not get, I wouldn't say gamble like a lot of money or something like that. But, you know, buy a scratch ticket. Or, you know, take a chance on that. Uh, you know, the animal machines. Or stuffed animal machines. <laughs> That's an example. You might find that you, you know, you get a good... You know, you have a good outcome. Yeah, and then we have that festival. So, a fantastic party or event. So, a lot of you are going to be having one of those. And that's something to be thankful of. You know, you have a good event, a good party. It's it's nice, you know, to have. And again, maybe some of you just haven't been able to go out and do anything lately. So, you, you finally get that chance to do it. And you're like, yes! <laughs> like, that's awesome. You know, I can finally start discovering the world again. I can get out there meet new people and do new things. You know? So... That is what I've got for you, pile number three. I hope that this was enlightening for you. I hope it was helpful. I hope it gave you something to look forward to. Um, be sure to leave a comment below to enter in the giveaway. I'm going to do a reading as a thank you. Um, I'm going to choose a winner. So just enter your name down. And be sure to keep up with the community posts. Like check in here and there. I think I'm going to draw on the 1st of December. Okay, so I want to give everybody enough time to get in you know involved and uh, yeah but just be sure because I don't have emails you can't message people through YouTube so I'll have to like be able to announce it and then you'll email me okay so definitely check that out and I'll try to remind through a video as well um, but yeah anyways take care have a beautiful wonderful day if you want a personal reading that information is down below in my description box there's a link to my Etsy store where you can purchase readings as well as my Amazon wish list where I always do a reading as a thank you just be sure to leave me a, an email or an Instagram but yeah take care guys and I'll see you all in the next reading hey friends if you chose pile number four here this is your reading and this is amethyst by the way so, very beautiful heart stone. Thank you, Steve, for the wonderful gift. Okay, so, what have we got? What blessings are coming towards you? At this time, what will you be thankful for soon, right? So, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So, things looking up, movement. That's one of the things I get the most of the Wheel of Fortune. And karma coming coming back around. Of course, this can be, you get what you put out. So, if you've been, you know, putting something in, if you've been weaving the right thing, you're going to start to see the results for a lot of you. So, for those of you that have been working hard on something, I do think that you'll see fruition to what you've been putting your efforts into. I see financial progress for plenty of you as well. We have good lady as well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know what that is. Um, let me see. But focusing on that three of wands and the wheel of fortune in particular, I see progress. I see things looking up. I see messages coming in that kind of, and, and some sort of communication. Some of you might be asked to like collaborate or to... Some of you might even get a sponsorship, I want to say. That's just an intuitive message. Of course, that might not resonate. But you might get some kind of offer like that. Others of you might receive some sort of intuitive guidance as well. Hmm. 
Let me think here. One moment. Oh, sorry, my eyes. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I, see, I think you guys are gonna start to see the results of something you've been putting your efforts into for the most, majority of you. Sorry, I was trying to see what other messages I got from the Three of Wands. It's my first time with this card in particular, so I was just trying to see what if I got any intuitive messages off of it. Um, other than that, I love to read clouds. It's one thing I like to do. <laughs> But I don't see any anything particularly with these clouds. But anyways, with the zebra, it says, Let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. So I do see a lot of you letting go of fear and feeling safe to kind of take some sort of risk um, or take some sort of action. I also see with the dog and the anchor, I see a firm friendship coming into place, into harbor. Some of you might be making a wonderful friend. Now, we have good lady. So this is probably for a lot of you a feminine friend, okay? And some of you might find that you're very thankful for that friend. We have, of course, 1835 and 6. So those could be some kind of significant numbers. We also have 3710, 3. Hmm. Hey! 35 is how old I am. <laughs> and 18 is the day of my birthday. Okay, anyways. <laughs> but, uh, no, uh... I do see a lot of you having like a significant, particularly a feminine in your life that's very anchored in your life and it's becoming a, like a lifelong friend as well. Mm -hmm. And we have lighting the way. Some of you I feel like are also going to have a, you know, an idea about the direction of your life in general, especially for those of you that do feel lost, okay? Some of you might actually receive some kind of guidance from the friend as well. With lighting the way, this is from the Fairy Wisdom Oracle. I'll go ahead and read the message. It says, keyword is illumination. We all wish for guidance and help along the way, yet sometimes guidance comes from within. When we connect to the energy of spirit that resides within each of us, we see clearly what we are to do. Reach for the stars. Allow that communication with spirit to connect you to your highest good. You know what's funny, and I didn't say this, but I felt it here when I looked at the bird on her shoulder. Some of you, I feel like, have and, and it may not come in the form of a bird, but I do feel like you guys have spir a spiritual guidance sitting on your shoulder. Um, but it might be like a metaphorical bird as an example, not literally a bird. <laughs> uh, but some of you might have birds or one that sits on your shoulder. Pay attention to the behavior of that bird if you do. Okay, we have... Uh, Ultimately, you are to be the one who shows others a way. You hold the light for them as you climb the path of illumination. In order to do so, you must continue your own journey in learning and refining your own truth. It is only through example that we can change our world one person at a time. But if enough of people hold the light in enough places, we can bring about a change at much more advanced rate. This angel holds the lantern for all to see so that anyone who wishes to climb the path can be better can better see the footholds and avoid the pitfalls. She has reached the highest peak. Her face shows that she takes her job seriously. She is, uh, Guidance can come in many forms. The word of a friend. Ha! 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 Okay, <laughs> or a professional counselor. Guidance can come from a book or a stranger's words. Listen to what information comes your way, then sit with it and meditate on it. You will get a sense as to whether it is valid for you or not. If you're open and willing to hear your truth, you may be destined to teach or counsel others. Light a candle for someone today. Actually, that's a very beautiful thing uh, for those of you that are Orthodox, um, particularly like Christian Orthodox, like, you know, uh, like Christian Orthodox, maybe for some of you, you need to go to the like Greek Orthodox, Serbian, Serbian, Russian, you know, Eastern Orthodox. Maybe for some of you, there's this urgency to go light a candle for someone, okay, at church. So I, I know I need to be doing that, and I've felt that intuitively. So maybe that's just a message for me, but for others of you, that might be a message for you as well, okay? Uh, maybe you need to drop in church and do a candle, okay? Um, but that's not for everyone, okay? <laughs> so don't, uh, sorry I said okay like 50 times, but um, that might not be uh, for everyone, that message specifically. Which I've been getting the messages. I actually found a ring I've had. I was telling this to Snow City Tara, actually, she's my friend, <laughs> as many of you know. But uh, I found this ring, actually, on my floor. And it's weird because I've had this 
since I was 18. So I've had this for many, many, many years. <laughs> well, like 17 years, I guess. And uh, it appeared out of nowhere, you know, on the floor next to my desk. And like I've had it packed away because I still live out of a suitcase since we moved from Russia to America. I haven't gotten out of the suitcase. I live, I have everything in baskets because I never meant to stay here in this house for so long. COVID kind of ruined that for me. But I'm not to give my personal story, but it's just like maybe some of you might be getting some sort of message like that. And uh, like I am. Okay. To maybe go to church, light a candle. And again, you don't have to go to church, but... I was just saying because I know in orthodoxy we do that. But um, but for others of you, you might just want to light a candle. You know what I mean? I actually bought candles for Aphrodite yesterday. <laughs> so that's another thing too, honoring goddesses or gods or whatever you believe in. Um, maybe, you know, lighting a candle for a past loved one. Beeswax candles or like holy candles. Anyways, um, <laughs> or do what you like, you know, or you can do those like, you know, candles that have like the... Um, Virgin Mary on them and stuff like that but <clears throat> I also have like the candles for my son's baptism christening and I still keep them eight years later I still have them <laughs> so I'll light them when we're oh that's what I need to write light for COVID to protect us <laughs> I'll go do that but my pri the priest told me when I got those to light them whenever he whenever he got sick and uh, we haven't gotten sick yet but we have one upstairs who's sick so I guess it's uh, just the countdown <laughs> to when it happened when we catch it but uh, anyways <laughs> that's another thing too I'm getting for you guys so lighting candles in particular like I said doesn't have to be a church some of you might want to just focus on the flame in particular and meditate on the flame maybe some of you need that fire energy especially right now Especially if you guys lack fire in your in your chart. Okay, what else do I feel here? Sorry, some of these are just like intuitive and coming at me, so I'm sorry about that. I don't mean to sound all over the place. Like I said, these are general readings, and I want to tell everyone something that they need to hear, right? I want to keep as many messages, but it's not always going to be for the same people. You know what I mean? Uh, not everyone's going to have the same message. So if it sits well with you, you take it. But if it doesn't sit with you and you're like, nah, that doesn't sound like something I need to do, then you just say, okay, <laughs> you know, I don't need this. One enchanted evening, the perfect night. <gasps> Some of you might be having one enchanted evening. Oh my God. Who loves South Pacific? South Pacific. I used to love that musical when I was a kid. <laughs> and that made me think of the song from that movie. <laughs> one enchanted evening. You may see a stranger. You may see a stranger. Da -da -da. I can't remember all the lyrics, but go look up the lyrics to that. Some of you might have that experience. I love it. <laughs> And then we have time to shine and sun, fire energy. Some of you are going to like have some kind of inner fire. We have lighting the way, fire energy, a lot of it. So some of you guys are going to get some, some gumption. Some of you guys are going to get some energy. It says creates the energetic resonance for golden opportunities. And sun, the golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. That's so weird. I didn't even put that all together, the candle. Some of you, when you light the candle, it's like you're sending that energy out into the world. Yeah, like this. This energy out. Huh. I wonder. This sounds ridiculous. I'm not even going to say it. Never mind. I don't want to be ridiculous. <laughs> but I just had like a weird thing. I don't know how that would work, but okay. One more. <laughs> we have labyrinth. It says, oh, sorry. It says, transition to a higher level of being, raising your energetic vib vibration, enlightenment. So, again, lots of spiritual growth. And as well, like, you know, life can be like a kind of a tangled web for some of us. But you're safe through it all, and it's all kind of part of the path. There's definitely that message for you guys. And that's what it says, let go of your fear and know that you're safe and protected at all times there with the zebra. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I like it. I'm going to grab you guys some fortune cookies because I didn't do that for anyone. And I always am nice to like pile, f I don't know what, pile for. You guys just do something to me <laughs> where I want to do extras. Okay. 
Spirit Guides and Angels, what can Pile Number 4 expect to be thankful for in the future? What blessings are coming? Perseverance. You may feel like you're getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. That's what I love. So the work and the effort that you've put into something, the things that you've weaved in your life, you're getting results. You know? This is a time when you produce a sputter, you know, after you've been kind of doing that. Let's see. Any other message for pile number four? Oh, there we go. Declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondences, objects, and people who you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings or reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. So again, that might be for some of you letting go of those situations from the past, you know. Um, it doesn't have to be necessarily someone will hurt your feelings, like a friend or something. It could be, of course, right? But it might be also other things in your life, correspondences, objects, people, right? Make sure that, you know, what you're trying to weave into your life, you know, that, that the things match this vibration that you want to bring in. So that's always something to think about. Like I said, whether it's an object or a person or, you know, a job or whatever, decluttering your life a little bit and making sure that you're getting rid of the things that you don't really want. Okay, one more card. And then I will sign off. Thanksgiving. What can we be thankful for? Power, which is hot. Some of you, I think, are going to do a spell that's quite powerful. Do you remember that whenever you put your energy into something, that's when you'll see results, even sometimes negative energy. Um, tears are powerful, guys. Okay, now, you are more powerful than you think. Enforce some authority. Someone's trying to influence you. Walk away from those who do not serve your highest interest. Reclaim your self-power. Investigate your past lives to heal fears of persecution. Very interesting. And it says, time to stamp your foot in defiance to anything past or present that is stopping you from growing into the wise one you, are, you truly are. By standing strong, you're in a state of declaring to the world that you are the wisdom keeper others are waiting to turn to. Now you can wear your witch's hat and stand in your full strength as you step into your optimum power, never to be given away again. Past memories of persecutions are linked to your fears, which cause your light to fade and hide in the shadows. Wow. Exactly, and this is all about finding the light. Also, some of you might be great at influencing other, not influencing other people, uh, how to say it. I feel like some of you are really a good guide, like a good guidance to other people in general through about dark times and, 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 you know, making sure that people know that they're welcome in your life. Okay. Not that you don't do that, but it's just something that came to my mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that some of you are really actually getting rid of someone nasty or a situation that was nasty and finding power in it. Again, I, I do feel like some of you are going to be doing a spell that's quite powerful and it's going to have powerful resorts, result, resorts, results. <laughs> and I want to say, you know, be careful with, you know, I don't encourage any bad magic or bad, bad things, you know what I mean? Make sure that you always make sure that you like try to you know make sure that people aren't going to be hurt by this you know whatever is in the safest highest good for all <laughs> just a just a note but yeah that is what i've got for you guys i chose pile number four i hope that this gave you something to think about <laughs> and uh yeah again friendship i do see a good friend coming in for you guys so again if you've had the previous situation i think a lot of you might be letting that go and like a new one's coming in so just so that doesn't sound too bad because i i don't mean that it would sound bad sorry this dryer started but uh i do get that strong message and that's going to be something you're very thankful for and it may not be like it might be that this friend helps you forget old ideas as well or vice versa maybe you can help a friend uh forget old ideas too it could be mutual, right? But, uh, so it doesn't have to be like a new friend comes in to replace an old friend for all of you. It might be a new friend comes in to kind of, you know, be part of your, your life path, um, in towards going more towards your direction. And there's more support there than maybe you felt recently. Okay. So 
<laughs> Anyways, guys, I will stop here. Wishing you all a beautiful, wonderful day or night wherever you are. Take care. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is just leave a comment. Remember to check out the community post. I'll probably, I think, pull winners or post winners on the December, on the 1st of December. So check out that. I can't email people or message you through YouTube, so you'll have to like email me. So definitely check and see if you win. What else I could say? Um, oh, yeah, and if you want a personal reading, that information is down below. In the description box, there's a link to my Etsy store where you can purchase a reading as well as links to my Amazon wish list. And I always do a reading as a thank you. So, wonderful. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next reading.